my morning view. This is where Wrigley sleeps. It's smooshed right up against me every night. I don't know what Mimi's doing over there. That's my mess of an office area. And then Michael's already gotten out of bed, so Rowdy quickly moves into his spot. And then my view over here. I've been living on these cough drops. They're life. They're not lifesavers. I mean, they are lifesavers, but they're not the brand name lifesavers. They're from Luden. I'm gonna get a little morning reading in. And then we're gonna get this day started. The daily dilemma. Do I make the bed? Which means I have to move him? Or do I just wait until he's ready to wake up? I have to hop in the shower, so we're gonna give him a little more nap time. How about that? If you missed my recent declutter, <laughs> this cabinet used to be so bad that when I opened it, stuff would fall out. It was just so packed. Now it is organized, and I am so proud of myself that I have not refilled it with a bunch of stuff I'm not gonna use. But today's shower, do I use my energizing shower steamer or the more decongestant one? I think I'm still needing the decongestant version. These are great. I decided not to keep them in the shower because they just get soaked, but they're these little pods. You put them on the bottom of your hot shower, kind of to like the corner or something. And then as the hot water hits them, they dissolve and they release their scent. All right, all showered. I'm actually in my Colleen Rothschild hair towel. And before we get any farther into mentioning Colleen Rothschild, I should say that today's video is actually sponsored by Colleen Rothschild. I will actually put her personal Instagram account down in the description box. If you wanna learn a little bit more about the woman behind the actual brand, she is incredible. As far as what I used in the shower on my hair, the Quench and Shine shampoo. I mean, I have my backup waiting. And then this is a new launch. I've talked about this before. It is her newest hair product. The Quench and Shine hair mask, which was in the tub, is still outstanding, my all time favorite conditioner, but this one is the Replenish and Shine Daily Conditioner. It's a little lighter weight, and I chose to go with this one because we're actually packing today and leaving tomorrow to go to Houston to have a quick little weekend with our older son, Jake, and the humidity in Houston is outrageous, and I know we're gonna be spending a lot of time outside hanging out or staying at a local resort, and so I just wanted something really light in my hair, although in hindsight, maybe I should have used the heavier <laughs> conditioner so that it would weigh my hair down and it wouldn't totally frizz out. But I do have other Colleen products to put in my hair to combat that. So before I dry my hair, I do my skincare and I will walk you through some of that. So I don't need to use it this morning, but I should discuss this launch. This is the Colleen Rothschild Micellar Cleansing Water. Look at how beautiful and sleek the packaging is. And I just love that it is as effective as my other favorite Meissler water, but it's also from a local to me. She, um, Colleen Rothschild is a Texas-based brand. It's a small business. It's woman-owned. It's elegant in its packaging. And I'll just tell you, like, the pump. And what I really like about this one it's also refillable. Like I can take the top off, decant some into a smaller travel container if I want. So I'm loving it. Sometimes all of my mascara does not come off with certain brands, not a brand we're going to be talking about later. So I don't need this this morning. So this goes back in the cabinet. This I never skip. This is also from Colleen. It is her micro mineral soothing toner that I have decanted into a small container. This is also great for travel. I'll link these airless pumps. And instead of putting it on a cotton pad, her cotton pads are outstanding. I know this is sponsored, but at the same time, like I legitimately use so many of her products that like, it doesn't even need to be. Anyway, I just take a pump, put it directly into my hand, and then just pat this. And I owe you all a whole like, dedicated skincare video, probably two, one for AM and one for PM, and then maybe a third one just on like my favorite special products that I use occasionally. But this is great because if you have reactive skin or sensitive skin, in my case, both, this helps prepare your skin for any of the more strong products that you're gonna put on next. Like if you're using a heavy retinoid or any kind of chemical exfoliant or acid, this truly helps prepare your skin for that. And I started using this at the same time. I started using prescription Retin-A, Tretinoin, and I never had any of the typical side effects like 
um, the really dry skin, flaky skin, rat, nothing. Then I put on my vitamin C serum, just like four or five drops, and you pat it in. You do not rub it in. I will say, if you do have super sensitive skin, I don't know if it's back on the website, if it is, I'll link it. Colleen's vitamin C serum is what I started with because it's not L-ascorbic acid-based, it's a different version of vitamin C that's much more gentle on the skin. So if you wanna start with something or even stay with it, that's the one that I did. And then I eventually bumped up to something stronger, but I love her version. I used it for years. Eye cream, Colleen Rothschild Complete Eye Cream. Just a dab, that's probably more than a dab. That is way more than you need. And up onto the lid. I know it's a little gloomy in here. It is a gloomy day outside. I don't know if it's gonna rain or not. It's been gloomy most mornings. It's kind of like a little bit of a tease. And then there's no rain. We need the rain desperately. And then I'll just finish off. <laughs> Can you tell this is loved? This is the Sheer Renewal Cream. This is a great everyday moisturizer for all skin types. What's really cool about it is that it dries down to almost like a powdery finish. So it's great under makeup as well. All right, I'm gonna hold off on my sunscreen because I'm not ready to put on my makeup yet. And I like to have that layer of sunscreen and then go right into makeup so that my skin still feels a little fresh underneath. Dogs are vacated. Let's fix this. We are ready for the day. Video is all done, it's just saving. I still have to come up with a good title, a thumbnail, and fill out the description box, but we're moving along. FedEx man came. Let me turn the camera around and give you a couple updates on some stuff I've talked about in previous videos. So if you remember my most recent Walmart haul, I actually wore this in a size small in a different color combination, a blue-black combo. I ordered the much more neutral, kind of beige and white in an extra small. So that just came, and then I got another of those faux croc belts, this one in the black. I don't stick to the intermittent fasting thing hardcore, but it's after 11, I haven't had breakfast yet. So I'm gonna show you sort of my go-to lunch, I guess today brunch choice. Let me walk you through the ingredients. So this is the base. They sell this at every grocery store. I found this at Walmart and HEB. Use this instead of rice, although if you feel like using rice, you absolutely can. It's just one minute in the microwave. And then on top of that, I pile chopped cherry or grape tomatoes, chopped up cucumber. I like the hothouse cucumbers. I sprinkle on some sliced olives. I'll get to this in a second. A little bit of red onion. Uh, this is feta cheese. It's cheaper if you buy it in the block and just crumble it than buying it pre-crumbled. I love to throw a big dollop of hummus on top for some added protein. And then this is the best Greek dressing. Sometimes I'll throw on either some tzatziki or plain Greek yogurt. I don't have any currently since we're going out of town. We're not buying any more perishables until, well, probably not even when we come back. So we're only home like three days and then we go out of town again. So let me throw this all together and I'll show you what it looks like on the plate. There it is. It's delicious. It's light yet filling. So I'm going to go eat my lunch, maybe catch up on a little Real Housewives, get my hair dried so I can show you how I put on my makeup today. This day just has flown away from me. So I just finished blowing out my hair. Let me just flip you around so you can see everything that I used because I left it laid out because I'm going to pack it for later today. Okay, here's all the things. The Dyson, I think Amazon's here. Rowdy's guarding us from the scary Amazon truck. My Dyson Airwrap, amazing. This is my curl, not my curling iron, flat iron. And then this is what I use to finish it off, especially when I'm going to Houston. This is the best and it lasts forever. I've had this bottle for like, I think this is year two. I don't reach for it constantly because usually these two are enough. So this is all that I have in my hair. I make a little cocktail of this. It's the Smooth and Shine Serum and the styling cream. I pump a little bit of both into my hand, mix it up, put it all through my hair. And then when I'm all done, I finish with another little pump of this. Weirdly, you can just keep dumping this on your hair and it never gets oily. I, I do not know what magic. And then I bet you're wondering, what are you doing here? I love to catch up on YouTube videos, or today it was Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I just pop in my AirPods and still in my robe. Still in my robe. All right, let's go put some makeup on together. This is my point of view, at least when I'm filming a get ready with me or any kind of makeup demonstration. I have this really old mirror 
by really old, it's probably three or four years old. These clippies are from a PR gift a long time ago. Then I use my laptop as a monitor. I can just plug my camera directly in, well, with some adapters. There's the camera. Michael just set it up for me. Um, I like having the laptop as my monitor because I can start and stop the filming. Sometimes I miss stuff that should be caught in editing, <laughs> like lipstick on my teeth or a booger or whatever. And it's because this is still pretty small for me to see. So I really do need to invest in a much larger monitor so I can actually see. And then no matter what kind of video I'm filming, every time I sit down and do this, is that small enough for you, sir? <laughs> and I guess we're gonna hear Mimi hyperventilating under the table. All right, let's go. The point of this part of the video, of course, is to highlight the latest launch from Colleen Rothschild Beauty. So exciting. She has moved into makeup. Could not be more excited. My favorite skincare brand is now starting to create makeup. I know that more will be coming, but this first release is a focus on the eyes. It's the Eyes Have It Collection. It is made up of four amazing products. I have already talked to you about the micellar water. Here it is in a better camera. Isn't she beautiful with the pump top? Love that. Then, something I've been using for weeks and just been flat out lying to you when you ask me what my mascara is, she launched a gorgeous mascara. We'll talk about this when we apply it. And then two eyeliner products. Now, if you know me, you know I don't do eyeliner, but if Colleen Rothschild's gonna make an eyeliner, I'm gonna start using it. And I have been subtly wearing it, and people have been asking, your eyes look good, what are you doing differently? Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna share with you what it is. So first, we have the Smoke and Smudge eyeliner. So you have smudge on one end. It's just a, you know, like a sponge tip if you wanna smudge. And then this is old school, but the best way to get the sharp point, coal type eyeliner on this side. And then the last product, if you know me, you know that this I, I would love to use, but cannot for the life of me master it, but I might have to try, not today. Um, and this is a precision liquid liner, beautiful, very fine point there. It's really pigmented, it's a matte formula, it's quick dry, it's long lasting, it is jet black. It is still something I am working on personally mastering, but those of you watching that love a liquid liner, here you go. All my face makeup is on and my eyebrows are on. Got a new product I've been using, so make sure you check the description box for all the stuff that I've slapped on here. There's quite a few things. Here's the eyeshadow palette that I have been using that I get compliments on every single time. This little baby here. This little elf, what do they even call this thing? I love you a latte. I really do, I love you a latte. I usually just use one or two, like the middle two colors, that's it. Take a bigger fluffy brush. This is the BK Beauty 201. I go in with kind of the lighter tone here, tilt my head back so I can see my socket line, kind of dab it up at the top, and then just swish, 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 swish. And then start little circular motions in the corner and pulling it in a little bit. That's pretty much it. Let me show you the next couple of steps. Then I go in with a small brush, also from BK Beauty. I either use the pencil smudger or this one from the Hot and Flashy collection. It'll be listed below the specific one. Same shade, and then just a quick run underneath the eyes. Then the brush that I reach for, it's usually a version of the MAC 217 or the Zueva 227 Luxe Soft Definer, and I do that other matte brown that was in the middle, and I just concentrate on the outer corner and into the crease, but a little lower, like into the true socket line. That's it for the eyeshadow. And this is how I personally love using eyeliner and how I've always worn eyeliner. I just do it even thinner because I do have hooded eyes. I don't have a lot of room on my lids. So I reach for the Smoke and Smudge eyeliner pencil. I'm not even gonna, well, I might smudge it. I take the eyeliner and I lay it completely horizontally. And I start about mid to last third. And I just really lightly drag it across. That is it. When you're trying to do a really subtle makeup look, this adds a whole other extra level without having to do a whole heck of a lot. And I love that this doesn't set immediately, so it does give you time if you wanna smudge it out. I'm gonna smudge it a little bit, especially in the middle here, just so that I know it's not too harsh of a line. It gives you a little time to smudge before it completely sets, and then it, it stays put. It'll come off with that micellar water, but you don't have to worry about it traveling all over your eyelids or anything like that. 
I do want to show you how the liquid liner looks. Let's draw. Barely touching. Okay, I'm pushing a little hard there. Hang on. I can't do it upside down. Look how dark that is. So this is the panoramic mascara. I have been really enjoying it because, well, first of all, it looks great. But second of all, it doesn't smudge or smear even in this insane humidity that we have been experiencing. I love this nice, big, fat bristled brush. I feel like this is the perfect brush to really get in there and build. I'm not even gonna put primer on so you can see how well it goes on all by itself. I always do my bottom lashes first. And you can use the tip to really get in there if you want. I always end up smudging some on my lower lashes because I don't do that. I really need to just turn it around. Okay, that's a look. I'm gonna leave that alone. Let's do the other eye. Maybe we can do a better job. Much better on this eye, strangely, using my non-dominant hand. I'm gonna use like a flat brush and I'm gonna get into the micellar water. I'm gonna take that right off. I should also say that the micellar water has antioxidants, it has pumpkin seed extract, it has peptides. So it's not just removing your makeup, it's actually enhancing your skin, your lashes. Pretty nice. All right, that is one coat, no primer. I love that it's also really buildable and it doesn't clump. Can you see? No clumping, no primer. It's such a pretty easy mascara. Did I tell you the shade name for this? I love it. Colleen is originally from the Boston area. And so I think this is a nod to her roots because it is called Wicked Black, which is a phrase like, oh, that's wicked cool, that's wicked smart, that's wicked black. That is very much a Boston thing. That's the whole look. I'm gonna wait on lip products until I leave the house. So I'm gonna go get dressed and uh, we'll keep this vlog going. I am just looking through my emails to get sales notifications. It is Thursday afternoon at 4.30. So I am sitting down to do tomorrow's newsletter a little late, probably a little truncated version. Um, I think I'm just gonna include some sales wrap up the YouTube videos of the week. I don't need to tell you, you should subscribe to my newsletter and then you'll find out. All right, I am feeling a lot better. Alexa off. And I got my government issued COVID tests in the mail today. So I was like, let's give it a shot because I feel a lot better. And that's the timer going off. So let's see. Dun, dun, dun. That doesn't really change anything for me, but it's nice to know I can tell people 100% I am not contagious and I am negative. Yay, Rowdy! Mommy's negative! Well, that had to have been the most relaxing pedicure I've ever had in my life. I fell asleep in the chair and as you can see, no, no smearing here. Without any lash primer too. Quite impressive, I must say. It's been a long day, not a particularly eventful one, but it is a very typical day for me, aside from, of course, the pedicure. That's about every six to eight weeks or so. Um, I did get Big Apple Red, just a classic red from OPI on my toes, but I'm gonna call it a day, call it a vlog. I six o'clock at night now. I still have to pack for tomorrow. I have to fake tan because even though my legs are super moisturized, they've never been so soft in my life. They are incredibly white. And uh, I need to get things moving or I'm not gonna get to sleep at a reasonable time. So thank you so much to all of you for hanging out with me today. Thank you to Colleen for sponsoring today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog day in the life and I will see you in the next one. Bye.